to be supported is an incredible thing, you know, especially supported by this incredible fan base. They've really taken the movie to heart. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 behind the scenes movie rumors that turned out to be true. Prove it. Prove what? That you're Peter Parker. For this list, we'll be looking at big screen ideas based on backstage gossip that were actually based in reality. What is one movie rumor you wish had been true? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Set Delays on Morbius It's been reported on more than one occasion that Jared Leto sometimes takes his method acting too far. I have done everything you said, every test, every trial, every initiation. Viola Davis said that the actor once had a dead pig brought out to the cast before filming Suicide Squad. He had a henchman who would come into the rehearsal room and the henchman came in with a dead pig and plopped it on the table. While Margot Robbie is said to have received a black rat from the actor during the same production. I wasn't dead shot. I wasn't dead shot at all I in that moment. For sure. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty, oh! Due to his past actions, when word got out that Morbius was experiencing production delays, people were quick to theorize that these might have been caused by him. This seems to have been accurate, at least partially. Like the titular character, Leto would allegedly act as if he needed to use crutches himself, even after the cameras stopped rolling. With bathroom breaks reportedly taking him up to 45 minutes at a time, the crew came up with a compromise, the use of a wheelchair. We have to push the boundaries, take the risks. Without that, there is no science. Number 9. Mr. and Mrs. Smith marks the beginning of Brangelina Although recent news surrounding the famous couple have proven that things aren't always what they seem, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were once considered the celebrity power couple. Um, so Roy is actually going to be marrying Pam sometime this summer, and uh, she's our receptionist, sort of a Brangelina thing. Dubbed Brangelina by fans and tabloids, the pair of actors were together for almost a decade and raised six children together. It all started in the mid-2000s on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, an action film where they played married assassins. This is like a checkup for us. A uh, chance to poke around the engine, maybe change the oil. They were rumored to be courting each other at this time, but these rumors were written off as false by Pitt, as he was married to Jennifer Aniston at the time. Come to death. A year afterwards, however, Pitt ended his five-year marriage to Aniston and began seeing Jolie more frequently, with both of them later confirming that they fell in love on that movie set. Number 8. The Harry Potter Candy Conundrum Working with child and teen actors can come with its own set of unique difficulties. Anything off the trolley, dears? No thanks. I'm all set. For the production team of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, it was rumored that one of these unique difficulties was Tom Felton's love of sweets. It was alleged that while shooting the previous films, the teenage actor would sneak candy into the pockets of his costume to snack on in between takes. Ah, Bertie Botts, every flavor beans. It became such a problem that all of the wizard's robe's pockets had to be sewn shut to discourage Felton and the other young actors from harboring more food and drinks in them. Care for another? In 2014, Felton himself finally confirmed this story to be absolutely true while speaking at the Calgary Comic Expo. Number 7. Hawkeye will be MIA in Avengers Infinity War. Hey, you guys want mayo or mustard? Hot dog. By your brothers. Uh, two mustard, please. Thanks, Mama. Got it. Hawkeye has been an integral part of the Avengers since the group's first big screen team up in 2012. So some moviegoers were surprised he didn't participate in the events of Avengers Infinity War. For many hardcore fans of the MCU, however, the character's lack of appearance was anticipated. Think you can hold him off? Captain. Be my genuine pleasure. Jeremy Renner, who plays the heroic archer, had been missing from the film's behind-the-scenes photos and promotional material. 
This absence led to rumors that Hawkeye would not be involved in the initial fight against Thanos, and led to several theories about his whereabouts, including his being snapped by Thanos or being at home with his family. The latter was shown to be true in the follow-up film Avengers Endgame, which also revealed that he lost his family during the snap and has become a vigilante. Don't give me hope. I'm sorry I couldn't give it to you sooner. Number 6. Cast Drama Put a Halt to Sex in the City 3 Carrie, party of three? Yeah, that's us. 2021 saw the release of a new Sex in the City story, titled And Just Like That. The series was the first time that the original show's star, Sarah Jessica Parker, had returned to the role of Carrie Bradshaw since the 2010 film Sex and the City 2. And where's the fourth musketeer? Where's Samantha? Oh, um... She's no longer with us. Rumors abounded during the decade between these two projects that the halt in Sex and the City content was not due to lack of interest, but rather a dispute between Parker and her co-star, Kim Cattrall. What is your problem? I don't have a problem. You have a problem. With the release of the new HBO Max series, these reports seem to have been proven true, as Cattrall's character, Samantha, is the only character from the show's core friend group who does not make a physical appearance. Do you think maybe if you... I did. Multiple texts. And nothing. Okay. Well, then I guess that's all we can, you know, do. Number 5. Ben Affleck's Disillusionment with DC Ben Affleck is best known for his work in front of the camera, but at one time, the actor was actually lined up to direct a Batman film for the DCEU. He stepped down from the directing role in 2017, claiming that he could not handle the job in addition to playing the film's title role. Sorry guys, I didn't bring a sword. Fans didn't quite buy it. Rumors circulated that Affleck had actually become disillusioned with DC and would soon be stepping down as the Dark Knight. Say sometimes things sort of work in jail and sometimes they just, uh, you know, you, you seem to be just having one problem after another, you know. These fan theories were proven true a few years later. Citing both professional and personal negative experiences on the Justice League set as the root cause for his departure, Affleck stepped down from the famous role with his last big-screen appearance as the Caped Crusader set to be 2023's The Flash. Next time they shine your light in the sky, don't go to it. Number 4. The original trilogy's cast returns for The Force Awakens When Disney acquired Lucasfilm, they announced that they would be making an all-new Star Wars trilogy. The first film, The Force Awakens, was the subject of many debates years prior to any official information being released. Fans can expect a new feature film, Star Wars Episode 7, in theaters worldwide in 2015. Fans were simultaneously excited for new content and worried about what it would mean for their favorite franchise. New Star Wars in three days! <laughs> One big theory regarding the announcement was that the new trilogy would see the return of beloved characters from the original trilogy, notably Han, Luke, and Leia. You change your hair. Same jacket. A few fans even guessed that Han Solo would die in the new trilogy's first film, citing discussions of his death during the production of Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Both of these theories, of course, turned out to be correct. Go away! <laughs> Chewie, what are you doing here? Number 3. Stanley Kubrick destroyed props from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Have you ever heard the theory that Stanley Kubrick faked America's first moon landing? The story goes that NASA saw Kubrick's film 2001 A Space Odyssey a year prior to the actual event, and realizing they could not actually get people on the moon to film it, turns to him to create a believable experience for viewers at home. This story is just a conspiracy, but the rumor that Kubrick destroyed props, blueprints, and miniatures from the set of his famous 1968 film is actually true. 
What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. His reasoning? So that no one would repurpose the props for their own films like they did with the props of 1956's Forbidden Planet. Morbius! What? Something is approaching from the southwest. A few 2001 items reportedly remain, but have since been auctioned off. Number 2. Spider-Man No Way Home Cameos Can the Spider-Man come out to play? After secretly filming Spider-Man No Way Home, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire would be faced with their biggest acting challenge yet, convincing the general public that they were not involved with the flick. Great, it's just some random guy. Hello? Fans were quick to theorize that the two former Spider-Men would be a part of No Way Home when it was revealed that it would feature villains like Doc Ock and Electro with the same actors who portrayed them from their respective movies. Looks like we got competition. These rumors escalated when a Twitter user claims to have made a delivery to Andrew Garfield in Atlanta where the film was in production, and even more so when still images were leaked of the two actors on set. I generally don't go around advertising it kind of defeats the whole anonymous superhero thing. I just said that. That's what he just said. Charlie Cox was also rumored to be reprising his role as Daredevil, which similarly ended up being true. I have some good news, Peter. I don't believe any of the charges against you are going to stick. Wait, seriously? Oh, I knew it. Nice. Oh my god, Mr. Murdoch, thank you. That's thank you, That's amazing. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Snyder Cut Zack Snyder has shaped the look and feel of the DC cinematic world, directing both Batman v Superman and Man of Steel as well as acting as executive producer on several other films in the franchise. Despite this, disappointing box office numbers for his directorial effort led to Warner Brothers wanting a larger say in the direction of his Justice League film. Justice League was <clears throat> unfortunately like, um, you know, touched by, you know, some personal tragedy and uh, of, you know, uh, death in Zack's family. Creative differences and family tragedy led to Snyder exiting the project before it was finished, leaving the end product to Buffy the Vampire Slayer's Joss Whedon, who had already done some rewrites by that point. Fans of Snyder were outraged with the final film and demanded that WB release Snyder's original vision, despite any actual confirmation that the Snyder Cut was a real thing. The fan community has sort of risen up demanding this version. Well, because of the promise I've made them over the course of the two other movies. But it did, at least in some form, and fan interest would help lead to reshoots, re-edits, and eventually a new director's cut of the film. There's no us without him. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.